What is up guys, this is 101, back again with some more Let's Talk WWE 2K14 aka WWE 14. So firstly guys, if you missed the first episode where we were talking about a possible ruthless aggression theme, then you can take a look at that episode by following the annotation on the screen right about now. But as far as the second episode goes, I hadn't actually planned to do the episode so soon after the first one but because you guys gave the video some awesome feedback and seemed to really enjoy discussing potential ideas on the upcoming game, I thought I would jump straight into episode number two. And this particular episode is entirely based off some ideas and feedback from a couple of my subscribers, so shout outs to Mason Leon and also this is GG Ghost for bringing this awesome potential idea for a single player experience to my attention in the comments section of episode number one. So that is exactly what we're going to be talking about in this particular video with my own personal touch on it. So the idea of this particular single player experience is going to involve a core career mode. So we have seen something similar to this in previous wrestling games, but with WWE 2K14 this is a great opportunity to further that storyline with the current modern day roster. So yeah, you start off by making a court and then you maybe have one or two tryout matches before you actually get signed to the WWE properly and these tryout matches can be just against some generic jobbers or you know something like that in some generic indie arena and then when you do get signed you move on to NXT which for you guys if you're not aware is the WWE's developmental program and on NXT you probably wouldn't need too many guys possibly half a dozen proper NXT guys and then you could throw some regular lower card WWE guys on the brand kind of what they actually do in real life anyway such as Justin Gabriel and so on and like I was saying on NXT you're kind of fighting to make your impact on the show eventually becoming the NXT champion and to fight for a spot on the main roster so when that time finally comes you move on to the main shows being Raw or Smackdown and from that point on you're going to start off really low on the card so possibly wrestling on superstars and shows like that before slowly attempting to get some title shots on the main shows itself so maybe as a realistic start you could possibly join a tag team so from that point on you could be fighting for the tag team championships and then maybe go back to singles competition and fight for one of the smaller titles so maybe IC or US championship and then obviously moving on from that you go on to fight in the main event level kind of matches whether that be WWE or World Heavyweight Championship Gold and if they really want to throw out the storyline they could even include the Undertaker streak so you could go to Wrestlemania and attempt to end the streak which would be pretty cool all of this keeping in mind guys of your own custom created court so possibly either yourself or maybe a wrestler that you've downloaded from Community Creations and on the way you're obviously going to be having your own Pacific storylines as well. So like I said guys, we have seen something along these lines in previous WWE games, but with the inclusion of NXT and a current roster, you really got potential for a really good solid single player game mode. Again, this idea was not mine originally, I gave credit to the guys from the comment section in video number one at the start of this video, but I think something along those lines would be pretty cool to see and would have some nice potential. So I'm definitely interested in hearing what the rest of you guys think about this potential game mode in WWE 2K14. Do you guys want to see something like this featuring some kind of core career mode, possibly alongside a completely separate regular single player mode, whether that be Attitude Era or Ruthless Aggression or so on? Or then again, do you guys have an alternative idea that you think will make a pretty awesome single player experience. If you do have alternative ideas and want to share them, then please feel free to do so down in the comment section below. And any good ones that really stick out, I can talk about on the next episode. Providing you guys stay interested in this Let's Talk WW14 video series, you can expect a lot more content similar to this coming out very soon. The next video is probably going to be on potential match types that we want to see in the next game which originally I was going to talk about on this video but obviously in the end we went with the subscriber ideas. So last of all guys if you've enjoyed this video and want it to continue then please feel free to leave a like 
and subscribe if you haven't yet already. But until next time, this has been 101, and I will see you all on the next one.